do you remember when Wi-Fi wasn't a thing? I sure do. I can still hear that awful modem sound in my head. You know the one. The sound you heard when you picked up the phone receiver to make a call and your brother was still on the computer? <laughs> How far we have come. Today, Wi-Fi is a fundamental need for a lot of us. But what about dual-band Wi-Fi? When would you want that? What benefits does it bring to the table? Oh, just you wait, my friends. We're talking about exactly this. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Monica Good from Advantech and I investigate the what, where, and how of dual-band Wi-Fi. We also explore the benefits that dual-band Wi-Fi can bring to a variety of embedded designs and how you can take advantage of Advantech's dual-band Wi-Fi solutions for your next design. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Advantech. Hi, Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, Amelia. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. Thank you. So we're talking about Advantech's dual band Wi-Fi today. So what kind of solutions does Advantech offer in this arena? So Advantech offers three types of product lines in this portfolio. The first one on the right-hand side is the embedded wireless module. This is the basis for all the products. So this same hardware will be located in the other two products that you see on the page here. The only thing that will be different is the programming of the module. So when a customer is looking to purchase the module, they have three options. They can purchase it as an access point, a wireless bridge and router, or a UART for asynchronous serial data. The difference will be that the programming will come in the best format so that the customer can easily do their configuration. So we wouldn't want to give them all the configurations open and then when they go to configure it, there's just too many options and settings. So we send it to them in the easiest format for quick implementation. The second device on the left-hand side is our commercial-grade Ethernet bridge router product. So this product can come with either an enclosure or without an enclosure. So when a customer has a device that they want to integrate the board into, we can remove the enclosure and then it'll fit into their device. And then the third product in the middle is our industrial Ethernet bridge and router. This product comes with an industrial metal enclosure and wide powering options to make it perfect for environments that are a little bit more industrial and require a little bit more of a ruggedized device. Okay, cool. Now, Monica, flexibility in configuration is key here, right? Talk to me about that element of these solutions. So you're right. Key flexibility and configuration is important. So we address this with a lot of different features that we provide. The first is a full solution of access point and client options. So the access point can be used to connect your Wi-Fi client devices, or we can be the client and easily connect to your existing Wi-Fi network. A new feature and advancement to this product line is the OpenWRT and this will come on the wireless modules. And this is a feature that allows the customer a lot of flexibility to add their own application to our existing module software. And then security is a huge concern for a wireless network. We address security concerns by giving customers the capability of multiple level access to the device. So we give them five levels of user access that's already predefined and each level can have a custom password assigned. These levels will dictate what amount of access the user has to view and make changes to the configuration. So as an application engineer, I can't tell you how many times a customer's called in and said, hey, I can't get into my device. I think someone may have changed the IP address or a password. So giving these type of user level access really will eliminate those type of things from happening. There are also several services that are not encrypted on a Wi-Fi network. 
So those services would be something like Telnet or SSH. So we provide the capability to disable those services. So anything that's not being used can be disabled by the client. We also support the ability to upload certificates. A Wi-Fi security certificate is a digital certificate, and it includes information such as the user identity or public keys. And this certificate's used to establish a secure connection between the user and the client device on the wireless network. And then I think configuration is super important. So we provide options for command line interface or web configuration. So when you're configuring a wireless network, there's tons of things to consider. And actually sometimes giving too much can be difficult for the customer to know what they should configure, what they don't need to configure. So we actually provide something called the Express Setup page. So after the first time the customer logs into the device, the Express Setup page gives all the options that probably 80% of the customers can use to get configured and on the network. And for those other 20% that need the advanced configurations, they can scroll through the tabs and make those settings. So that just makes configuration easier out of the box. And then finally, we provide tons of options such as commercial grade devices, which don't have as broad of an operating temperature and is used in maybe a standard office environment where we have the industrial grade that provides more industrial operating temperatures, different enclosures, and different form factors. So this gives the customer a lot of flexibility in the application and what devices we have available for those applications. Excellent. Now, Monica, what do you think are the biggest benefits of dual band Wi-Fi? So dual band devices provide improved performances. So devices that support both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz provides the flexibility to support different types of working environments. So if you have a 2.4 gigahertz, it's typically slower compared to the 5 gigahertz. And under ideal circumstances, a 2.4 may get you 450 to 600 megabits per second where five gigahertz could get you up to 1300 megabits. But the flip side of that is the distance. So although the five gigahertz will be faster, the overall range is shorter. A 2.4 gigahertz signal can travel farther and penetrate through walls and objects better than a five gigahertz could. So the five gigahertz band is also less crowded than the 2.4 and is less commonly used. So this gives less interference and generally a more stable connection to the user. Okay, so connection reliability is also crucial here as well, right? How do these solutions address this issue? The Wi-Fi roaming allows your wireless devices to move through a large area with multiple access points without losing connectivity. So Advantech has a feature called Smart Roaming Function. So this can support channel selection and RSSI settings. This will prompt roaming to start automatically when those selected thresholds are met. So this allows the customer to decide how aggressive they'd like their roaming on the network. Okay, so can we dig into the details of the embedded Wi-Fi module you mentioned? Yes, so the module supports 802.11, A, B, G, N, and AC. And this helps to support that dual band functionality that we discussed. The CPU is an ARM9, which provides a greater throughput and faster clock frequencies. And then one thing we've done is we provide a Hiroshi connector on the back as the mating connector. And the reason I mentioned this is this device has been around for quite some time, but as technology changes and functionality increases, the module changes. But when we change a revision, we leave that same mating connector so that customers that have designed this module into their products do not have to redesign their device. They can still use that same interface connection. We also have 128 MB of RAM and 32 MB of flash. This allows for future upgrades and features and firmware backup, in addition to the ability to support the open WRT that we'll talk about next. So, Monica, I'm not aware of open WRT. Tell me more about that. 
OpenWRT is an open source Linux based operating system specifically designed for embedded devices, such as the module we're talking about. It offers customizable firmware that allows the users and developers to configure and customize their wireless devices beyond what the module already provides for the customer. OpenWRT is known for its flexibility and security. So some applications that we're looking at is OCPP for EV charging. And then we're also looking at adding VPN client capabilities to the module using the OpenWRT platform. Fantastic. Now, Monica, does Advantech offer different solutions based on the application my audience is looking to design? Yes, so on the left-hand side is our OEM carrier board. It's the commercial grade product that you see on the top right without the enclosure. So the intention of this product is to allow the customer to save on design time. So the module is already designed into that carrier board and it allows for a direct ethernet connection. So an example of where we've used this device is we have a customer in a grocery chain that has the weight scales that you would see in the deli. And those scales were wired to the network and the customer wanted to make these devices wireless. So they were able to fit this device inside the existing scale, connect the ethernet connection, and then we're able to send all the data wirelessly back to the office. So it was able to save them time and money because they didn't have to buy all new scales with Wi-Fi connectivity in them. So the commercial product comes with a nylon plastic enclosure. This allows for reduction in weight and less operating noise. It also comes with a mounting sleeve and the operating temperature is negative 20 to 85 C, allowing it to work in flexible operating environments. And I think one of the features that stands out the most is powering options. We offer this model with AC power, but we also offer a USB powering option. So this makes it desirable for mobile applications where plugging power can be quite difficult. And then lastly, we have the industrial products. So these devices, they come with a metal industrial housing with panel mounting already built into the enclosure. They have an extended wide operating temperature of negative 40 to 85 C and they can be powered through a DC power jack or a terminal block allowing five to 36 volt DC. All right, so Monica, do you have any applications you can share? Yes, so warehouse connectivity has been something that we've seen a lot. So applications such as a Wi-Fi forklift, Wi-Fi can improve the warehouse efficiency. So using our wireless module can allow monitoring of a forklift's location, and this can reduce in collision and accidents. It also allows seamless roaming throughout the warehouse. And then we're also focusing on the EV market. So I know everybody's talking about EV now. So using a Wi-Fi module in an open charge point protocol enables communication over a wireless network. So the benefits are range, low power consumption, and security features. So it makes the wireless module a desirable option. The wireless data can feed back to the Advantech cellular router, and then that data gets fed to the cloud over the cellular network. Another focus market we have found a lot of success in is the medical device cart application. So we can use a Wi-Fi module option here that provides a lot of bandwidth, connectivity, and security to the hospital network. So implementing robust security measures to protect patient data and ensure the device integrity is super important. The Advantech wireless module provides advanced encryption and authentication. So with these features, the medical device can successfully integrate to the existing wireless network and enhance the functionality and connectivity. Excellent. Now, can you give me some details on the Advantech solution used here? So the industrial ethernet router and bridge devices are used in this application. The devices are used on medical carts to provide mobile device connectivity to the hospital network. So using ethernet cabling is not always practical in this environment where the carts are moved room to room. So adding an ethernet bridge to provide a transparent wireless connection. So in addition to some medical carts, 
that already have wireless, we were able to use this device to update the wireless security and the dual band functionality without having the hospital to have to buy a whole new x-ray machine or other medical device. The industrial enclosure allowed for durability on the cart that may bang up against other objects in the room. Another option would be to add the commercial grade device inside the cabinet space under the device and use that USB powering option that I discussed before. And this allows more flexibility when it comes to the plugs for powering up the devices in the hospital room. Fantastic. Well, Monica, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you very much. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Advantech. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash ee.